Okay, so this is the third video for this lesson, and on this one we're going to rationalize numerators. So the process is very similar. We're going to multiply by the conjugate of the numerator. So that's the square root of 5 minus 2. All right. So then we multiply. So we have the square root of 5 times the square root of 5, which is 5. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And then we'll have the square root of 10 minus 2 radical 2. This simplifies just a little, a little bit, right? 5 minus 4 is 1. And then the denominator stays the same. Remember the process of rationalizing is to remove radicals, in this case from our numerator. So it's okay if we have some in the denominator, but when we finish, our numerator needs to be a radical free. Um, I started this over and I couldn't get everything erased, so that's why that was there. Multiplying by the conjugate, so that's radical 15 minus 1. All right, and we want to use parentheses because we're multiplying. So that will be uh, 15 minus 1. I'm just going to leave this um, without multiplying because I can tell that it's going to simplify some more, right? Because I'm going to have a 14 here in my numerator. So I'm going to be able to simplify by a 2. And this answer is 7 over the square root of 15 minus 1. All right, and so that's finished. Oh, there were some more things that I didn't get erased. I have this little box that was right there, and I didn't want to mess, mess it up by removing it. Now, 8 is actually 4 times 2. So that's going to simplify to 2 radical 2, which I'm doing ahead of time because I feel like it helps in the end when we are rationalizing and simplifying everything. So if you notice that, you can do that. It would still work out okay if I didn't uh, simplify it and went ahead and multiplied it just like it was. So 2 radical 2 plus the square root of 3. There's my conjugate of my numerator. Right, and I have to multiply my denominator by the same thing. Okay, so we take 2 times 2, which is 4, and the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. So 4 times 2 is 8. The square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is 3, and we're subtracting, right? One was negative, one was positive. And then the square root of 2 times 2 radical 2 will be 2 times 2, which is 4. And then we have to multiply this one all the way out. So that's going to be plus the square root of 6, plus 2 times the square root of 6, and then last is plus 3. All right. So this one will simplify one more step. We have a 5 in the numerator, 7 plus 3 radical 6 in the denominator. All right, and that's it. Erase. Oops. <laughs> Might need my eraser to do that. Okay, so we're multiplying by, well, I'll just leave that parenthesis because I need it anyway, right? The conjugate of the numerator All right, so here we go. Square root of x times the square root of x is x. The square root of y times a negative. Square root of y is minus y. In the denominator, I'll have to multiply that all the way out. So square root of x times square root of x, and then times the square root of y. So that's minus the square root of xy. We have a y times x, so minus radical xy, and put those in the same order, right? y times x is the same as x times y, and then a negative times a negative makes that plus y. 
All right, so x minus y. And then I can combine these two terms that are the same. So that's negative 2 times the square root of xy plus y. Make sure you have that under, the, have the radical all the way over that xy. And then that's all that simplifies. And we're finished with this uh, lesson.